Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hustle and Hoops channel on another rainy and cold day. Like I said, no excuses to start getting moving outside. Make sure you're being safe, take precaution, be as healthy as you can. If it is cold outside and you're gonna go outside for a run or for a jog or for a workout just like this one, just remember to bundle up. I have a bunch of layers on underneath this, so um, just try to stay nice and warm while you're moving. I had a lot of people comment about the agility ladders, which is fine, that they didn't necessarily have them at home. That's not a big deal. Use your imagination if you don't have agility ladders at home. If you do, then feel free to use them. If you don't, like I said, you can use, you can use tape, you can use a pencil, you can use a, a marker, you can use anything you want just to set apart different spaces. For today, I'm gonna to use these cones. You do not need all the space that I have. Luckily, I have this AstroTurf field by where I live. Nice little view in the background just to give you guys a little, you know, nice view of the city. But um, otherwise, you really don't need much. If you have 10 to 15 feet, that's all you really need. So today, basically, I just set up one of these cones. You're gonna take literally five steps. One, two, three, four, five. You're gonna place your other cone or whatever piece of apparel you have right here. And we're gonna do our entire workout within this little section right here. You really don't need much. So to, so to start off today, I had a couple of people ask about um, if you can make a workout that's catered more to a little bit of an older population or people who have um, some you know, physical ailments or what have you. Shout out to Sheila for sending me that note. Um, I'd be happy to. Anything that we're going to do today, gonna, there's going to be a progression and a regression. Something you can do that's a little bit more complicated. Something you can do that's a little bit easier. But again, it's a little cold and wet out here today. So if I'm not going full speed on the exercises, it's not for you not to go full speed or for you to go any slower. It's basically just to show you the exercise that you want to do. We're going to make it a 20 minute workout. I just want you to do it at the best pace you can where you feel comfortable getting a sweat and safety. No need to slip and fall for something that you're trying to do just to keep yourself moving. These are all exercises and workouts just to get yourself moving. So make sure that you are moving at all costs, temperature and weather, and your ecosystem is not an excuse. So whatever you've got around you, feel free to just get into the workout, okay? So we're gonna start off nice and easy. What we're gonna do is knee to chest. All my IA Warriors basketball players know that we do this every single practice, down and back, half court and jog through. What we're gonna do today is bring your knee to your chest, literally get a little bit of mobility in your hips. Mobility in your knees. We're gonna go down and back two times just to get yourself moving. You wanna pull your knee up to your chest and then give a little tug. Pull your knee up to your chest, little tug. Knee up, little tug, over and over again. And as I said, these are gonna be nice, safe, and effective workouts every single time so you don't need a lot of room, you don't need a lot of experience. We're gonna do what's called ankle cradles. So you're gonna take your foot, pull it up. Take your foot, pull it up. Both hands if you can. Again, if you have bad hips, bad knees, whatever it is, that's fine. Do the best you can. If your ankle cradle looks like this, it's not a big deal. If your ankle cradle gets much higher, that's great. But you're just trying to get a little pull on your glute, mobilize the hips a little bit. All this stuff is just for you to move and feel a little bit more active, okay? So remember, we're gonna go two times of everything on these little tight area warm-ups. And you'll see, you don't need more than 10 to 15 feet of space. You just need to use a little imagination, a little creativity, and if you have someone who's gonna show you what to do, you just need to listen a little bit. I'll give you what you need, okay? Now we're gonna go high knees, okay? Again, if you can get really high knees all the way through, that's great. High knees all the way through, that's great. If your legs don't move that quickly, it might be a little bit of slower high knee. It might just be a march, okay? But the idea is arms and legs moving the entire time as quickly or as slowly as you can do them. Just getting the blood pumping a little bit. Next one, butt kicks, okay? Again, regression, nice and easy. Hands behind your butt, chest up nice and tall. Trying to bring your heels up to your butt as close as you can. Get the knees moving, get the knees working. If you're feeling a little bit more prepared to move, pulling them up, really working the hamstrings. And if you're one of the younger players, our athletes really get as many kicks in as you can. I think 10 to 15 between the two cones every time. So you're really getting yourself moving, okay? Then you're gonna go karaoke. Again, regression, nice and easy. One in front, one behind, one in front, one behind. If you're going nice and slow, but if you're going a little quicker, back and forth. Let's do it three times, three times karaoke. Again, limited space just means you can do a couple more, okay? Back pedal. Don't need much, but just working a little bit on your footwork, moving your body, getting the blood flow going a little bit. All right, give yourself a start and stop. 
I'm gonna start going three times just to get yourself moving a little bit. Into skips. Again, a skip is off of one foot onto the same foot, off of one foot onto the same foot. Different from a bound, different from a hop. We'll go into that another day. But again, test yourself based on how much you can do. Give yourself two or three rounds as high or as low as you want to jump. Just get yourself moving. Okay? It's called a dynamic warm up. So every professional athlete, every trained athlete does this before every single workout, a variation of this, just to get yourself moving. And we're gonna go into a little bit of a squat and step. A little squat and step. A little squat and step. Doesn't have to be a deep squat, just get the legs moving a little bit. Get your heart rate pumping. Feet apart, squat, feet together. Feet apart, squat, feet together. Okay. The goal is to constantly be moving. And you'll find, even after just a few, heart rate's gonna start pumping, which is great for you. Especially when we're all stuck in the house now. Best thing to do is move. Get your mind off the hard times. Focus on the positives. If you're healthy, you could move. You have the ability to physically distance, but not socially distance. Give somebody a phone call, a text message, a group chat, whatever it takes is to keep connected with your people. So you stay really positive. Like we all know, this time is really difficult, obviously, duh. But the goal is for you to be as connected with the people that you love, people that you care about that you might not necessarily always spend as much time talking to and calling your school friends, etc. Your old classmates, cousins, brothers and sisters, who you're not necessarily quarantined with or cooped up with. People you're cooped up with might be driving you crazy. So call the people you're not with, right? So next, a little more advanced. We're gonna do what's called an inchworm. You're gonna walk yourself out. If you can, advanced version. Do yourself a little push up, and then you're gonna inch your feet up towards your hands. You're trying to get a pull on your hamstrings, okay? It might be back here, it might be down here, it might be all the way up here. Once you get there, you walk forward. Push up if you can, otherwise, you're just walking your hands up to your feet. Or excuse me, walking your feet up to your hands, okay? This alone might get you a little bit of a sweat, a little bit of a pull. But the goal is not to change that angle. <clears throat> okay? So that's the push up in between. If you're not doing the push up, you're just walking yourself out. Comfortably as possible. Walk it forward. Walk it out. Walk it forward. Hands and feet. Hands and feet. Last two. Hands and feet. Last one. Hands and feet. Okay. Next, we're going to get a little bit of hip mobility. Again, I've got a really bad right hip. I had surgery a long time ago. What we're trying to do is it's called the Spider Man. You're going to walk yourself out again. I want you to step one foot out. The goal is to get your elbow to the ground. If you can't, you might even have difficulty with this. You may need to stop right here on your knee. But if you can, try to get your heel to the ground, elbow towards the ground. Yeah. Heel to the ground, elbow towards the ground. And then walk out three steps. Heel to the ground, elbow to the ground. Three steps. Heel. Heel. Three steps. Notice how my lower back isn't hunched up in the air. It's not what's called sagging down. You want to be nice and tight in your core. Trying to get that elbow to the ground. See what you can do. Same thing on the way back. A lot of field crumbs on my hands. Walk it out. And again, if you can get your elbow all the way to the ground, great. If you can't and your knee can just come out this far, this is fine too. Okay? Knee to the ground, elbow out. Knee to the ground, elbow out. One, two, three, two more. Knee to the ground, elbow out. Even notice this, I can get a big stretch in my knee, excuse me, a big stretch in my hip, even from doing this. The goal is just to find that little deep stretch. Oh, two more. Find that little deep stretch. Progressions and regressions. 
last one. Knee to the ground, elbow to the ground. Knee to the ground, elbow to the ground. I'm gonna walk it out. Blood's starting to flow. Everything's starting to pump a little bit, probably getting a little bit of a sweat. What we should do is we're gonna get back to the middle. We're gonna do something a little bit more stationary, okay? Just a little bit more mobility work. So I want you to get your feet about maybe double your shoulder width apart, place your hip width apart, however you want to describe it. You're gonna go out and do what's called a starfish. Okay. Out and down. Again, population has some injuries. You can even just get down a little bit. Just a little bit. The goal is to feel a little stretching hamstrings. Feel your hips rotating a bit. We're going for 15 of these. And don't worry, I don't count well. If it's 13, if it's 17, 14, or 16, don't worry about it. Just get yourself moving. You'll find a muscle in your lower back called your QL. Quadratus lumborum, a lot of fun to learn about that one. But basically a lot of people who have lower back issues, that's the muscle they complain about. This is normally a nice little exercise to start getting these warmed up, start your body moving. Again, if you have a bad back, you don't necessarily need to go that far down. It might just be this much of a movement just to get some blood flow, okay? But you're trying to think opposite shoulder, opposite leg, shoulder, leg, shoulder, leg we'll go one more shoulder leg right there okay just get yourself moving a little bit and then we're going to go back to one of the cones and what you do is hip openers okay so you're going to be facing the mirror facing the camera facing whatever for forward you're trying to keep your hips and your chest forward and stable you're going to step over step over step across step together step over step over step across step together you're imagining like a tiny hurdle you're coming across, okay? Imagine a little hurdle that you're stepping over as high as you can. And again, if your hips can't really get over that hurdle, don't step all the way over and change the rotation of your hips. I want you to just get over that hurdle, over that little hurdle, step together. Over that hurdle, over that hurdle, step together. One more time. People who don't have great hips, this is an excellent exercise, okay? Again, I told you, I've got old golden retriever hips. What is it called, dysplasia? I got golden, golden retriever hip dysplasia syndrome. So this is a great exercise I try to start my day with a lot. Step over, step over, out, together. Step over, step over, out, together. Last one, step over, step over, out, together, okay? Now that we're starting to have everything loosened up, good mobility in the hips, good blood flow to the knees, ankles, toes, feet, elbows, shoulders, everything's starting to move a little bit. We're gonna start getting moving within this small area of space that we have here. Like I said, 15, 12 feet, something like that. We're gonna start doing tiny slides back and forth, okay? Just to the insides of the cones, tiny slides. I want you to try to shoot for five of them, okay? Five slides, that's two. Five slides, that's three. If you're a basketball player, think defensive slide. Think defensive slide. Your goal is to go as fast as you can. If as fast as you can go is stepping across, I just want your glutes to start feeling a little burn, okay? Get your, your butt moving into a little bit, a little bit on the knees. It might be this high, it might be this low, okay? So you're imagining the fender in front of you, or basically, you're just trying to move laterally. A little bit of lateral movement, never hurt anybody, okay? Now, same exact thing around the cones. We're gonna go to the front, back pedal, to the back, to the front, back pedal, to the back, as quickly as you can slide. Under control, again, go at your pace. I'm just trying to show you what you're looking to do. Your goal is if you can do 20 seconds of it, 20 seconds of every round, oh my gosh, you're gonna be sweating. You'll probably need a water break at the end of this one, and that's fine. But the goal is height, weight is irrelevant. I'm six, seven. If I can slide a little bit, you can slide a little bit. Do the last one. The idea is get around the cones, back pedal. Around the cones, back pedal. And same exact principle now. Now we're going back and forward, back and forward, okay? So, excuse me. You're gonna start forward here. Slide, 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 forward steps. Slide, 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 forward steps. Slide, 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 
fly more steps at your pace. Trying to get your butt down low. You should feel your glutes working and forward, okay? Fast. Try not to stand up too tall at any point. Just work on your feet. Again, if you're in a slippery area like it is here, you don't need to go that fast. You just need to move. You can't stay inside and not move. You can't let two, three, four months go by and not do anything because of COVID-19. It's no excuse. No excuse at all. If anything, it's a great excuse to do the opposite. Get yourself moving now. You have the gift of time. We've all been given this gift of time now. Use it. Use it to your advantage. Staying inside and watching Tiger King is not going to solve your problems, even though it shows fantastic. So now we're gonna do the exact same idea, but instead of doing a defensive slide, you're gonna turn your hips, start doing a karaoke. Again, a lot of today is gonna to be footwork. You're gonna go karaoke to the front of the cone, back pedal, karaoke to the front of the cone, back pedal. Karaoke front, behind, karaoke front, behind. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're here. Open your hips and turn. See where you are. Your pace might just be this. That's fine. Go into your pace. The idea is trying to move with as soft of feet as possible. Heels should almost never touch the ground, okay? If you're doing them like this and stepping and walking, it's not like that. It's the balls of your feet. Not your tiptoes, balls of your feet. Quick action. As quickly as you can move, okay? Just get your body moving. You will thank yourself later, okay? Forward and back, forward and back. Try to do five, I don't know if it's four or five. We're gonna do one more afterwards. All the way through. Soft feet, soft feet. And now the exact same thing, just the opposite. So you're moving up above the cone, carry it behind. Up above the cone, carry it behind. I never played football, but I'm sure a lot of the NFL guys do footwork drills all day long. And granted, they are freaks of nature. Those guys are some of the best athletes in the universe, but having soft feet, any athlete can attest, is always an advantage. So all my IA players, oh, shout out to Hudson, who gave me a nice shout out on Instagram, as well as Matt Balski, Ethan Fitzpatrick, my other eighth and ninth grade guys, Alex Wheel, Rohan Malik, Vince, well, Mason, no, he's younger, but again, guys, this is great for you just to get yourselves moving because if they call us and they say, listen, we're gonna have a basketball season. It's gonna be super late. We're gonna do something. You're gonna really regret staying in the house and playing 2K and COD all day. Yeah, Call of Duty. Great game to play indoors all the time. Jeez, come on, people. Move, get outside. Nothing wrong with playing video games. One more time through. But keep your mind moving, keep your body moving. Otherwise, you're gonna lose a lot of what you worked on in the past, and then you're just gonna be stuck, okay? We don't want rust. You don't want rust to build up. As an adult, as a kid, you don't want rust to build up on your body. If you don't use it, you lose it, okay? So try to keep yourself as active as possible. So now that we've got those hips really working a little bit, got your glutes firing a little bit, your quads firing a little bit, we're gonna stay in a nice low position, again. Low can mean this, low can mean this, low can mean this, okay? I just want your chest to try to stay up as high as possible. Try to stay off your heels too much. Think the balls of your feet, middle of your foot to the top of your feet without shifting forward, without falling back. But always off your heels. Don't put your weight on your heels. If they touch the ground, that's okay. But don't allow yourself to fall backwards, okay? We're gonna stay in this nice low position. We're gonna start getting a little bit of a burn, okay? You're gonna think that same lateral slide above the cone, once you get outside, you're staying low behind the cone and forward, okay? If we do five rounds of this one, I promise you, no matter what physical condition you're in, you will feel it. You're gonna feel it in your glutes. The best muscle to work if you wanna be athletic, if you wanna jump high, you wanna run fast. Great sprinters, great jumpers have great glutes, okay? Glutes and hamstrings. You wanna be tight and explosive, but not so tight that you can't move. I guess explosive is the better word. You want them to be really, when you call upon them, they spring up, they shoot out. That's what your glutes are made for, really, okay? Again, knee issues, 
hip issues, ankle issues, just give yourself what you need. But I do want you to stay as low as you can, pain-free. That's the goal of a lot of strength and conditioning specialists work. Again, that's what I do outside of the basketball. Trying to keep your athletes, your clients, as pain-free as possible. What's the point of working out, throwing around kettlebells, doing all these deadlifts, if you're in pain before and afterwards? Kind of silly, right? So the goal is to do something pain-free, to feel <clears throat> maybe a little sore, but you don't want to feel so sore that you can't walk. What's the point? You want to feel sore enough that you know, okay, I worked out yesterday. I promise you, if you do these for long enough, we're gonna do one last one, you'll feel that soreness in your glutes. You'll feel a little bit, you'll say, oh, okay, I did work out yesterday. Ooh, I feel a little something when I sit down, that's great. But glutes are a great indicator of work being done. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna stay in this low position. We're gonna get back to that beginning point. And we're gonna go back to the beginning. But we're gonna reverse it, okay? Staying low. Notice, as I'm chatting with you, my heels aren't on the ground, okay? All my sneakers might feel a little weird, might look a little weird like you're creeping forward, but all of my sneakers, when I was playing pro and college basketball, all of my sneakers were ruined on the front. On the bottoms of the balls of my feet, oh my gosh. They're just shredded at the end of the season, at the end of a few games, at the end of a few practices. The heels, pristine, okay? We're gonna walk forward, the rest is normal, okay? That's how athletes move. You go off the balls of your feet. If you ever think about running a sprint or trying to move as far forward as you can in a quick motion, jumping up, vertical or linear speed, it's always off the ball of your feet. If you ever watch sprinters, watch Usain Bolt. We'll make one more after this one. Watch Usain Bolt. All those men and women who are in the Olympics were in the Olympics doing the 400 meter, 200 meter, 100 meter dashes, especially the 100 meter dashes, they're going so fast, but those first few steps off the balls of their feet, they're pushing. That's where you push and you drive. Last one right here. And I'm sure if you're doing this right, if you're going as low as you can, your glutes are burning. And now, like I said, probably gonna be a 20 minute workout. At any point during any of this, that you feel tired, you need a sip, get a drink. It's literally the one thing you need for a workout. Literally, the rest is your body. Bring your body, bring water. You don't need these. These are great. <clears throat> they're great because they're orange and they're cones and they're cylinders and you know what they look like. You can't miss them. You can do it with anything. Water is what you need. Orange cones, orange water bottles. So I'm gonna give you a few more exercises just to wrap it up. Again, this is a 20 minute workout between 15 and 20 minutes, maybe even extend to 25, depending on the speed you wanna go. If you wanna double this up and do the entire workout one more time, make it a 40, 45 minute workout. Whatever your time constraints are, if you've got kids at home driving you crazy, I know I've got one little toddler who's running around like a maniac right now. If you've got time to spend on your body, on your mental and physical health, spend it now, okay? This is the time. If you've got an hour, if you've got 30 minutes, if you've got 15 minutes, whatever time you can spend on your body and your mind right now, this is your time, okay? We've been given the gift of time. Please use it, all right? So the last few, we're gonna get a little more dynamic, okay? Back to some of the exercises that we did at the beginning. We're gonna go high knees, high knees, behind and in front of the cones, behind and in front of the cones, all the way through, okay? So you're moving laterally while still going up and down. Again, I might lose a little bit of my audio here. Sorry, I apologize. But the idea is blood flow, movement. So now you're moving vertically up and down while moving laterally. It might be a little bit more complicated of a movement. That's okay. Remember, balls your feet. Balls your feet. If you're staring at a mirror in front of you or whatever it is, just the wall in your bedroom, think you're facing forward, but your body is going back and forth. Notice how my hips how you can literally see my Infinite Athletics logo facing you the entire time. I'm never shifting like this. I'm not going across. I'm facing you the entire time. Okay, balls on my feet. Great marketing strategy, right? Last time, through and through. High knees as high as you can go, as quickly as you can go, but still facing forward. Might be the most challenging movement of all the movements. Get the heart rate pumping, okay? And you're gonna do the exact same thing one more time from behind to in front. Now we're going to in front and behind, in front and behind, four or five times all the way through, okay? High knees, moving, constantly moving laterally and vertically. 
I promise. Even if you're in good shape, that's a nice little workout for you. If you're in great shape, call this an excellent warm up. Whatever you want. But for all the people out there who need to move, you're trapped inside, you're quarantining safely, you're doing what you're supposed to, thank you. Okay? I know I'm not wearing a mask right now. As you can see, this is as empty as an area as there is in New York. Found a little hidden gem. Won't tell you where it is. So I don't want you to take my spot. Just kidding. But kind of, the goal is to be as safe as possible. This is way more than six feet. I got 60 feet all the way around. So today's workout again was mostly just footwork, lateral movement, forward movement, mobilizing the hips, blood flow to the knees and the hips and the ankles, getting yourselves moving, okay? You know what you need, you don't need much. You just need yourself, okay? Do what you feel capable of doing. Go at the speed you feel comfortable with. Any questions, comments, concerns, feel free. I'd love for you guys to subscribe to the page. Leave me a like. If you feel this is really beneficial for you, for your kids, for your grandkids, grandkids, etc., donate to the page. I'm just trying to help out my coaches and keep our business moving as we're going through a tough time, obviously, like everybody else. But all I really want is your eyes, eyes and ears. I really just want people to try to focus on moving and staying super positive. If you're going on Snapchat and being with friends, there's no need to start saying negative things. All these funny memes out there, they're hilarious. Like, find a smile on your face. Do something positive. Do something for someone else. If you're capable of safely going out and helping somebody down the block with groceries or walking somebody's dog, as long as you're safe and protected, do what you're supposed to do. But help somebody else. This is a great time for you to help others while helping yourself. Mental health, physical health, it all comes in together, okay? Do whatever is recommended in your area to keep yourself and your family safe. And as always, most importantly, keep moving, all right? I'll see you guys next time, probably for a ball handling workout or some sort of other exercise physical workout where we can just keep positive and keep moving throughout. See you guys next time.